Hello and welcome to my finance teacher. Today is 6th of May 2018 and I hope everybody is having a nice day as well as a nice weekend. We're looking at Bitcoin at the moment and uh, over the last few weeks since early April Bitcoin has rallied for nearly 50% but investors should be cautious over the next few weeks for a number of reasons and we're going to look at these reasons. First of all a cluster of moving averages here 50-day moving average, 100-day moving average, and 200-day moving average, especially this 200-day moving average, all seem to create this sort of resistance zone of between 8,500 to close to 10,000. And Bitcoin has been struggling to push through this 200-day moving average over the last couple of weeks. As you see on the chart, it's only tangent to the 200-day moving average without any breakthrough visible and today Bitcoin has been going down from around 9,800 to about 9,600. Another factor is what is called a diversion where Bitcoin has created a higher high of around 9,800 compared to relatively lower highs of close to 9,600 several days ago that was end of April but the RSI has actually created a lower high that is called a divergence which in this case is a bearish divergence after a 50% rally one would expect a pullback this rally has led to the break of this bear market trend line and very often after a break of this sort of trend line an asset pulls back to retest the trend line before continuing to rally so that's one possibility for Bitcoin to retest this trend line and another possibility since Bitcoin price is knocking on this 200 day moving average has been knocking for quite a while already each of these knocks potentially makes this resistance of the 200 day moving average slightly weaker hence there is a possibility that Bitcoin will break through the 200 day moving average relatively soon however there is another resistance zone which is not that far above this double top in February creates another resistance zone at about 11 and a half or 11,700 and I would expect a pullback from that and alternatively there is a more likely scenario of Bitcoin basically pulling back from close to where we are at the moment and retesting this bear market trend line and this I think is a more likely scenario because of this divergence that we see on the RSI. Additionally another factor is if we look at history of Bitcoin price over the last year or two very often we can observe this sort of Bitcoin cycles, Bitcoin price cycles which generally last for a couple of months and um, the current cycle has been already going on for about a month and for that reason I don't expect any special fireworks in Bitcoin price taking us anywhere above this resistance zone of 12,000. And lastly, looking at some relatively interesting recent news, Hong Kong government says that Bitcoin use in financial crime is relatively low. That of course doesn't include all the uh, fake ICOs, so be careful out there. Warren Buffett again shows that he doesn't know what is Bitcoin, whereas Goldman Sachs sees an opportunity to make some money by opening a Bitcoin trading desk. That's all for today. Have a good weekend. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and thanks for your attention.